in first samuel chapter 15 verse 22 first samuel chapter 15 verse 22 and samuel said the lord has great delight in both offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the lord behold to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams the words obey obedience obedience and so on and so forth occur about one for the six times in the king james version of the bible this number gives us an idea of the degree of the importance of these words in the sight of the almighty god just as love is the oxygen of the kingdom of god obedience is the gateway absolute obedience to god and his words is imperatively non-negotiable jesus our master showed good example by being obedient to his earthly parents hearing from god always is a key to a successful life however the last time anyone hears from god is the last time he or she obeyed its last command obedience is defined as to do what one is told to do that is to comply with it implies compliance, agreement, submission, respect, duty, conformity. What are the features of true obedience and expectation and commandment? God expresses his wishes, requests and commandments. He expects and demands that they be obeyed. Knowledge and awareness. Man is made aware of what God requires. His requests are not hidden. Choice and decision. Man is free to obey or disobey God. Obedience must be voluntary and complete response an action obedience is demonstrated in actions not mere words obedience must be wholehearted partial obedience is complete disobedience there are many biblical examples of obedience many biblical examples of obedience Abraham obeyed God Genesis chapter 12 1 to 4 those people the planners of the wedding in Cana kind of Galilee in John chapter 2 verse 1 to 11 they obeyed Jesus Esther obeyed Nesta 4 13 to 17. Ezekiel obeyed. In Ezekiel 4 4 to 8. Hosea obeyed. In Hosea chapter 3 1 to 2. The Rechabites obeyed the commandment of their fathers. In Jeremiah 35 1 to 19. Paul obeyed the commandment of God. Acts chapter 20, 20 to 24. Peter obeyed in Matthew 14, 20 to 31. The widow of Saraphat obeyed the words of God through Elijah in 1 Kings 17, 8 to 16. Jesus Christ obeyed the Father in Philippians chapter 2, 5 to 8. Why do many people find obedience difficult? Why do many people find obedience to God difficult? Number one is lack of knowledge of God. 
Number two is lack of fear for God. Number three is failure to deeply consider things. When you don't think deeply, your failure to deeply consider things is why some people disobey God. Four, that man is generally wicked and self-centered. Bible says the art of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Number five, men love the easy life and seek for present satisfaction. This was what happened to our forefathers in the Garden of Eden. In Genesis chapter 3, 1 to 6. Now the serpent was most, more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, and God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband, and he did eat. So men love the easy life and seek for present satisfaction. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 to 6 Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, and God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took all the food thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Men love the easy life, and seek for present satisfaction. Number six is external pleasures. Just like it happened to Samson, in Judges chapter 14 from verse 15 and it came to pass on the seventh day that they said unto Samson wife entice her husband that he may declare unto us the riddle lest we burn thee and thy father's house with fire have you called us to take that which we have is it not so and Samson wife went before him and said thou dost but hate me and lovest me not. Thou hast put forth a riddle unto the children of my people, and hast not told it to me. And he said unto her, Behold, I have not told it to my father nor my mother, and shall I tell it thee? And she wept before him the seven days. For seven days he was weeping, while their feast lasted. And it came to pass on the seventh day that he told her, because she lay sore upon him. And she told the riddle to the children of her people. And the men of the city said unto him on the seventh day, Before the sun went down, What is sweeter than honey, and what is stronger than lion? He said unto them, If ye had not ploughed with my ephah, ye had not found out my riddle. Number seven, Why is obedient difficult? Fear and respect of men makes obedience difficult for some people. Fear and respect of men. Factors that help full obedience. Factors
factors that help fully be this. The grace of God is number one. The grace of God is number one. The grace of God is number one. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Number two is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Number three is the love of God. Factors that have full obedience. Love of God or love for God. In Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12 it says, And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. And in John chapter 14, verse 15, John 14, 15, it says, If you love me, keep my commandments. The fourth factor that helps full obedience is love for others. Love for others. When you love others, you obey God. In Romans chapter 4, from verse 8 to 10, For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. But to this end, Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be the Lord both of the dead and living. But why does God judge thy brother? Why does thou set up not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. The fifth factor that makes obedience easy, that helpful obedience, is association with other believers. Association with other believers. It makes obedience full. It makes obedience full, makes obedience better. The Bible says we should not neglect the assembly of ourselves. Number six, reason is prayer. Luke 11, 2. Luke 11, 2. And he said unto him, Why ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. And in Acts chapter 4, verse 24. And when they add that, they lift up their voice to God with all accords. That is prayer makes it easy to obey God. Seven is being heavenly minded. Being heavenly minded. In Hebrews chapter 11, from verse 13. These all died in faith. Not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, we are persuaded of men and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country. That is an heavenly where for God is not ashamed to be called their God, for I prepare for them a city. Being heavenly minded makes you to obey God. It helps so full obedience. But service is death to self. Death to self. In Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Galatians 2 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the sons of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Who loved me and gave himself for me. What are the secrets of obedience? The following, beloved, are essential secrets of true and full obedience to God. The secrets 
is number one knowledge of who God is God is holy God is impartial God is the judge God is a consuming fire two is the fear of eternal judgment and three is gains or losses from disobedience and obedience losses from disobedience gains from obedience the secret of true obedience is a clear and close personal relationship with God. Beloved, all our attempts after full obedience will be futile and to get access to His abiding fellowship because it is His holy presence consciously abiding with us that keeps us from disobeying Him. This fellowship is developed from our intimate knowledge of Him and the consequential reference we give to God. Remember the eternal words of Samuel, one of the greatest scripture on obedience in 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 22. And Samuel said, As the Lord has great delight in burnt offering and sacrifices as obeying the voice of the Lord, be old to obey is better than sacrifice and to hack him than the fat of rams. I pray that every seed of disobedience planted into any life, listen to me, will be uprooted and they will die in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will take away from your heart the heart of stone and give you the heart of flesh in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Almighty will arise for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus and give you the spirit of obedience. God bless you in the name of Jesus. In case you are listening to me and you are not born again, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. But see what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you like Jesus. Come into my life take control of my life in Jesus name Amen you said I should pray with me I congratulate you thank you for surrendering your life to Jesus in this program the Lord will continue to uphold you and follow all our instructions God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Father I thank you for your children who have joined this program as they pray these prayers give them uncommon breakthroughs give them uncommon testimonies to you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. It is time to pray now. And I want you to pray from your heart. Say, my Father, my Father, my Father. Arise for my sake. And defend your interests in my life. My father, my father, my father, arise for my sake and defend your interests in my life. My father, my father, my father, arise for my sake and defend your interests in my life. In the name of Jesus, my father, my father, my father, arise for my sake and defend your interests in my life. In the name of Jesus, my father, my father, my father, arise for my sake and defend your interests in my life. In the name of Jesus, my father, my father, my father, arise for my sake and defend your interests in my life in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen say i fire back every hour of iniquity fired into my soul in the name of Jesus, I fire back every arrow of iniquity fired into my soul. In the name of Jesus, I fire back every arrow of iniquity fired into my soul. In the name of Jesus, I fire back every arrow of iniquity fired into my soul. In the name of Jesus, I fire back every arrow of iniquity fired into my soul. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So only goes fire. Incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. 
Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire incubate my heart in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Say I bind and cast out every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so Holy Ghost. Overshadow the totality of my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow the totality of my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow the totality of my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow the totality of my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow the totality of my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow the totality of my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow the totality of my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow the totality of my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Overshadow the title of my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every power assigned to pull me down. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pull me down, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pull me down, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pull me down, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pull me down, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pull me down, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I bind and cast out of every spirit of discouragement in the name of Jesus I bind and cast out every spirit of discouragement in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of discouragement in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of discouragement in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of discouragement in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of discouragement in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So only goes fire. Bonding with every deadness in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire burn away every deadness in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire burn away every deadness in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire burn away every deadness in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire burn away every deadness in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire burn away every deadness in my soul. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, oh God, arise. And revive me by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and revive me by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and revive me by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and revive me by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and revive me by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and revive me by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Power to resist temptation. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. 
power to resist temptations fall upon me in the name of Jesus power to resist temptations fall upon me in the name of Jesus power to resist temptations fall upon me in the name of Jesus fall upon me in the name of Jesus fall upon me in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen